Three, two, one, go. Hey, what's up, guys? So I see this a lot. Um, uh, people post their their 3D sculpts and models on like Facebook or you know Instagram, whatever. And there's a really easy way to make your model look so much better. So I would don't post if it's just like flat and you. I mean, unless you you really want to for some reason, but you can just make it look so much better. And if you if you want to post your your work anywhere, you want it to try to look as best as you can, even if it's a work in progress. You can do these few steps to just make it look a lot better. So firstly, if you're making like a character like this, uh, what's really cool is to add like a floor, like a, 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 a bottom surface and a back. So those are really easy. You can just make a plane. And you can just make the plane bigger. Well, I guess we're looking at the top, but that's okay. So we're just going to pretend that this is the back, the backdrop. So I'll make this bigger like this, and then just clone the plane. Let's we'll validate it and then just clone this. I'll do snap so I can snap it 90 degrees. And then I'll just make the floor like this. And I'm going to bring the floor up so it's almost like this is just like standing up like it's a display or something. And I'll move this up so it's kind of like that. <clears throat> so this is just a quick, quick, simple kind of backdrop. You can connect them both together. You can join them if you want. I usually don't, but you can join them. I'll stretch this out to give it a little, a little space. So that's the first thing. Uh, also, uh, perspective and orthographic. I don't usually share an orthographic. I usually change it to perspective. And maybe if, even if I go down to like 10, so something like this. So at least we have this and we have a, a background. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just change it to post-process. So even that looks a lot better. Um, and now I'm just gonna go to my lights and I always turn um, environment off. This is the environment I use mostly, but I turn this off. So then it's pretty dark and I just add a light. Even if you just do this much, it looks a lot better. Um, usually I turn this light up some, so it's a little bit more bright, but at least we have, you know, we have some shadows, so it's not like too flat. Another thing I would do is change the color of the background, even if it's just to like something a little more gray, you know, maybe you can add some, some warmth or some color to it just to make it more interesting. So you can do something like that. And if you really want to get crazy, you can add another light. And this is something I do a lot, but on the other light, I might add it like, oops, let's take it off snap. I might turn it around and add it like this way. Kind of facing it on, on the other side so it has like a pop of light on this side. Uh, you can turn it to a spotlight, which is something that I do on pretty much all my sculpts. I always make a spotlight and I point it towards the back. And so you can just see it. So you can just see it coming off the back but on the front view, it looks really cool because it gives it a nice edge light. So then you have a nice edge light like this and you can sort of adjust it. And typically you don't really want it. You don't really want it on the floor that much. You just kind of want it on the, oops. You just kind of want it on whatever your subject is. <clears throat> so then you have a cool you know, a cool light like that. Uh, but even this is just way better than uh, what we had before. So we can go into the post process and you can kind of play around with these a little bit. You can do depth of field. Then you just tap your, tap your little thing and you have this. And another thing you can do really quick while we're here, you can add another light. So let's make this a spotlight as well. 
with this light, you can point it towards the back. And you'll, you'll notice this in like product placement shots. So see how I just like, I'm pointing it, oops. Sometimes it's kind of hard to control these lights now. Now that it, they have all these editing things, I find it a lot harder to control the lights because it always grabs those little edit things. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now that we have the light back there, we can go back to the front. And it just gives like a little bit of, of brightness to the back. It should be it should be directly in the front, but you get the you get the idea. But that's just a way to, sh to show depth and to really bring out what what you make. Uh, lighting is very important, uh, and doing the post process and just doing these simple lights just makes it look a lot better than if it were to just be flat. And again, this is what it looks like if it's flat, rather than something like this, which just doesn't really doesn't really look good. It's too flat. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to learn more, check out my classes on Skillshare. I have 2D classes and 3D classes. If you want to see more, be sure to check me out on social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all Drug Free Dave and also Facebook. There's some really great Facebook resources for Nomad Sculpt and Procreate, including my own group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. As always, keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.